Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I'm at Empire PBF, Performance Built Firearms, TriggerCon 24, and I'm going to show you what can be done to a revolver that you never knew about. Pretty amazing, it all fits together, easy to install, so let's do it. If you look at semi-auto handguns, the hottest rage right now, not just with newer ones, but this actually has been around a little while, are compensators and ports and everything like that. Everything to keep the semi-auto shooting flat. But we seldom see those on revolvers, at least in the aftermarket space. Also another thing, we look at grips and what can be added to them to get a better firm hold on the pistol. And we also look at something else, flat triggers. But we don't necessarily see those all on revolvers. We see grips and we see comps that come from the factory. But if we look at aftermarket parts and accessories, Empire has a very cool setup. Now what we have here is a cage comp on a Colt Python. And it fits directly on a rail that could be added, well, it have an optic added to the rail. And that's what we have here. This is a cage compensator with a rail going all across and an optic. Optics on revolvers are becoming more popular, but when you see them in the aftermarket accessories that are available, it can be done all in one form that works with each other. A Trigicon RMR on a Colt Python, a newer one. Also what they have is a flat trigger. Look at that, that's called the stiletto. When we talk about semi-autos, a lot people prefer a flat trigger. Here we have a flat trigger on a revolver. You don't see them too often, but the Colt Python is known to have some of the best triggers out there. Why not a flat trigger? It's called the stiletto. Very cool. They offer that. Also, a Cote grip. They have different ones that are available, some different texturing and so forth, but the Cote grip, the stiletto trigger, the cage comp on a revolver is different. And many people like that stuff. I want to take a minute and talk about the flat trigger. Why do we always see a curved trigger on a revolver? When so many people who shoot semi-autos prefer a flat trigger. You just don't see it. And so I work this action and you get the same effect that you would with a semi-auto. Same applies with the comp, the grip. You know, some people love wood, I love wood, but there are additional aftermarket parts out there. In this case, aftermarket grips like Empire PBF that offers this. And I think that's pretty cool. So here we have a revolver that is souped up with aftermarket parts that we don't see coming out of the factory. Perhaps a couple comps come out of the factory, we see that, but this is aftermarket for a Colt Python. You say, well, I don't have a Colt Python. I have a Smith & Wesson. Let me show you what it can do with the 686. Here we have a very common Smith & Wesson revolver. The only aftermarket accessory on there is an Empire rail to put an optic. You consider that short, easy trigger pull you put an optic on there, you get the same effect that you would with a semi-auto. Is the market going in that direction? Sort of seems that way to the popularity of semi-autos. Not yet, but if you can pick and choose your favorite revolver and put a rail on there and an optic, and all of a sudden you shoot better, well, that would be a benefit. If you're good with iron sights, then this is not for you. But if you love optics and you want them on revolvers, it's available with Empire PBF. All right, and here we have another Colt Python with a two and a half inch barrel. The only aftermarket accessory on this is the rail. Once again, something that Empire does that you don't see too much of with aftermarket support. So if you love optics, once again, it's available with this setup. This is called the Acura. All right, so if you go to their site and you want to add this to your Colt Python, look up the Acura and that's what you're looking at. You put an optic on there and you're good to go. 
We're not talking direct mounts, we're talking about optics on a 1913 pick rail. Here we have a Colt 1911, and the Cote grips are very different. Very heavily textured all throughout, smooth on the back side of the grip, but we'll get a close up there. When you grip this, it really form fits to the hand. So whether that's your style or not, I think it's pretty cool and it's available with Empire. Am I trying to push Empire? No, but I'm trying to show you what they do and what you may find as beneficial for your aftermarket parts. To continue to show you what they offer, and I'm at the booth and have access to all of it, here is a Glock trigger, also called the Stiletto. This is the trigger shoe. It drops the trigger weight approximately pound, pound and a half, closer to three, three and a half pounds. It has that trigger tab in there, but it's only there on the bottom half where your finger rests on the trigger. And it's a flat face trigger, goes about a hundred bucks, and the reset is very short. Pretty cool. It's also called the Stiletto. I think I mentioned that. They have some cool stuff here. Caught my eye. I just wanted to share it with you in case you're interested with optics and comps and swapping out triggers on your revolver. Very popular with semi-autos. We don't see it as much with revolvers. Thinking outside the box, that's what caught my eye. I thought you might like to see it too. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.